Up next, let's hear some insights from Dr. Mike Heiser. Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Heiser, scholar in residence at Faith Life. And I'd like to talk to you a little bit today about word study. And I've talked before about word studies, but in this particular instance, I want to talk to you about something really exciting called word distribution. Now, you might be thinking, oh, boy, time to turn off the tube here. I don't want to hear about word distribution. But it's actually really, really important in word study. And I've got a great example for you. Now, in 1 Corinthians 7, Paul is talking about a lot of ethical issues, and one of those is marriage and divorce. Paul uses the term unmarried in that passage, agamos in Greek. The, the interesting thing about the term, though, is that it only occurs four times in the New Testament, and guess what? All of them are in that passage. So when we talk about word distribution, what I mean is when you study a word, you want to find out who used it, how many people use it, and when you find the authors that do use it, where do they use it? If it's widely used, well, that tells you one thing. If it's narrowly used, like our example, like Paul, you have to let Paul, because there are no other instances, you have to let Paul define that term for you, and it's only in that passage. Now, agamas, unmarried, what does it mean? Well, what is the state of being unmarried? Well, your spouse could have left you, spouse could have died, you could be divorced, perhaps you were never married at all. All of those conditions relate to the state of being spouseless, unmarried. You say, well, big deal, Mike, that's sort of elementary. Well, it becomes an issue when you get later in 1 Corinthians 7, around verses 27 and 28, when Paul says, if you're bound to a wife, don't seek to be loosed. In other words, don't seek to be spouseless. And if you are loosed from a wife, don't seek to be bound to one. Don't seek you know, out to be married. So he compares the two situations. Now, here's the thing. In the very next verse, he says, but if you marry, you have not sinned. Now, a lot of commentators, a lot of pastors will say, no, okay, this refers to a person who's never been married. Paul says it's okay to get married. And then they'll turn around and say, well, if you're divorced, then you shouldn't get remarried. Now, I realize divorce and remarriage is a very controversial subject, and there's more to it than 1 Corinthians 7. But here's the thing. On what grounds can you exclude divorced people from what Paul says in 1 Corinthians 27 and 28? He is the one talking about unmarried. And when it comes to the state of being unmarried, divorced people are in that group. And yet Paul says, look, if you're loose from a wife, don't seek to be bound, so on and so forth. But if you marry, you haven't sinned. So I think that you could actually include divorced people in that statement of Paul, because frankly, I don't know how you would exclude that circumstance of being spouseless from Paul's overall discussion of being unmarried in 1 Corinthians 7, because he's the only person that uses the term in the entire New Testament. So word distribution and word study, it turns out, can actually be pretty important for helping you think about a given word that you're studying. Well, that's it for this episode. To learn more, check out any of the links below, and we'll see you next time on Faith Life Today.